I this just kind of a quick response. Like I only gave you guys like a rear view. This is the front or the top. So I'll go ahead and um, power up. Let me go ahead and plug this in. And um, everything's grounded. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and press rewind. So rewind's right here. And I'll press rewind and you can see it's engaged and it's fine. That's because I'm holding it. So that I let go, you can actually hear the gear. And what's happening is is the teeth of the, the, the each one of those cogs is basically up against the so you can hear though it's a pretty it's a strong rewind. Um, but this right here it's, it seems almost like it's naturally supposed to do that. I mean obviously play does that. You know, you can it has a little bit of give. And when I rewind like that, it's fine. I don't think it's the roller. The roller works fine right here. Um, but yeah, when you're because obviously it's just temporary. So you've got to hold the button. Fast forward works fine too. So um, I'm not quite sure. Um, Eminence1963 said it might be the, the wheel, the rubber on the, or he said the rubber. I'm not sure where else there'd be a gasket. Um, the belt's brand new. I just bought the belt actually and it just came in. So this is the, the belt I got for it and it's the right size, or it's the right kind. It's actually the same model as this on the um, service manual. So I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, and then TTY also mentioned that um, there was some gumming, but I'm not sure where that would be. Uh, I guess, okay, real quick, I can take this off my unplug and show you what I've got. Um, Come back actually. Hold on a second. Actually, no, that's fine. It'll take two seconds. Or a little bit more than two seconds. But I'm not going to edit this and put it back together, etc. So. So this is where the this is how it's um, engaged when you press remote group. So as you can see, it doesn't seem like there's any gumming. Um, you know, it's moving exactly as it sh or how I would think it would. Um, there's a spring here that's connected to the record indicator. I'm sorry, the um, I don't know what the the piece of metal that basically tells you if your tape is protected or not. Um, and then you've got this is another part of the record feature function. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems to be working. It pops right off of the gear. And then you can hear it's not engaging. And then I press like that and it engages. Whoops. And I let go. And you can hear it slipping. It's just a little bit of difference there between this, where it does slip. Of course, it's not slipping now, and then this. So I'm not sure. See, you just slipped again. It's just a tiny bit, but it's enough, obviously, on something this small that um, it's causing problems.